Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we made a bomber jacket. Today, I'm going to add a buckle to the sleeve belt. It doesn't look easy, but we'll take an easy approach. Ready? Let's get started. First, open your jacket in clo. I'm going to add the buckle right here. Before we start, I want to hide all the patterns. Freeze and hide everything except the sleeve. Now, I'm going to cut the belt here. Select the internal line tool and create a line on the belt. Make sure the internal line extends to the pattern outline before you cut. I'll move it a little to the left and then cut it. I don't want to move the sleeve belt here, so I'll freeze it. To simplify the process, I'll reset to the 2D arrangement like this, and go to the buckle option. Double-click the buckle you want to add and drag it onto the belt. You can see the buckle added here. If you want to change the buckle size, click the box at the top right. You can edit the width, height, and thickness by dragging. Position the buckle well in front of the belt, and I'll pull the belt forward to attach it to the buckle. Select the pin tool and choose the pin, box option. Then, drag the middle of the belt and drag the red pins forward to cover the belt. Simulate. As you can see, the belt isn't attached to the buckle. This happens because the collision is off. Click the object, turn the collision on, and try again. Now the belt is attached. We can now delete the pin and simulate again. Looks good. We need to make two more belt layers. But before we do that, make an internal line first. Select the internal line and make one line here. And another on the other side. Then copy and paste the belt here, placing it well behind the outer belt. This is the middle layer of the belt. Cut this internal line and 
cut and sew this line. We don't need the original, so delete it. Copy one more middle part. Then sew the sides using segment sewing. Before we simulate, to avoid collision between patterns, set the outer pattern layer to 2 and the middle layer to 1, then simulate. I want to reduce the length of the middle part. It looks pretty good. Next, we are going to move and sew with the original sleeve belt. Select all the patterns and freeze them first. When you move the pattern with the object, select the object first, then press shift and select all the patterns together like this. Move carefully closer to the sleeve belt and sew the sides together. Once the patterns are sewn, you can unfreeze them and rearrange the pattern around the belt. I want the belt tighter, so I'll reduce the belt length.
When you're ready, what we can merge the belt back. Select the side belt line when you right click and merge it. For the right side, I'm going to delete this sleeve belt. Select all the belt patterns and copy them to the right side. Position them well on the sleeve. You'll see that even if you copy the buckle object, it isn't copied. So, add one more buckle here and drag it into place. Sometimes it collides with the object. You can use the pin to drag the collision points and arrange them. Finally, we've added a buckle to the sleeve. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.